Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and welcome to my October video. This one's about the orchids I have in flower at the moment. And as usual, I've gotten all my orchids together, all the ones in flower, and put them together on these two tables so I can show you them off to best effect. And the one that really sings out is this fantastic Dendrobium Lutin Blanc. Look at that. I currently have 10 spikes in flower and another four that have not yet opened. And I do really feel that there's a, a, a spotlight video coming on this particular Latoria cross. So I'll leave it for the moment and move on to something else. It's nestled up here against some of my Phalaenopsis, Baldwin's Kaleidoscope in particular. And last time we saw this one, it was in flower last month, but it was this spike over here that was in flower, which is gone now. And three blooms have opened on this spike. Now, as you can see, this has been pruned to encourage flowering further along the, the spike. So this plant has no straight up stems with blooms coming out of it because, you know, that went and passed a long time ago, as you can tell from the fact that that spike is cut. But still, it keeps on flowering. And with the Baldwin's Kaleidoscope, I just love the colours when this one opens first. They're a lot more vibrant. They fade a bit after a while. But yeah, this is my first orchid ever and I still do love it. <laughs> Behind it, we have the mandatory white phalaenopsis. And I got berated last video by a viewer who said that I really should talk more about my Phalaenopsis because, you know, they do a lot of work considering how little praise they get in my, in my videos. But um, yeah, I, I'm going to give that one a coat of thought. So at the moment, just the two hybrid Phalaenopsis in bloom. And moving over to this table here, you can see the fancier Phalaenopsis, Sweet Memory Leodora, still has her flower, looking very good. Still smells like damp lemons, but we'll forgive her. She's wearing a matching pot, as you can see. And beside Sweet Memory Leodora is my Oncidium Sotoanum in flower. Now, this is one of my favorite orchids of all time not least of all because of the fantastic candy floss smell that emanates from it. It's just wonderful. I've had multiple spikes on this plant in previous years, but it was divided this spring, so as a result, it's uh, only rewarded me with two spikes this year. But still, you know, it makes a nice enough show and uh, scents the kitchen very, very nicely. I'll put a link up above to the video I made about this uh, this favourite orchid of mine a little while ago. Directly above the Oncidium is this Encyclia alata. And the two spikes are now in full flower, looking very, very nice. This plant isn't um, very new. I got it this year for my birthday and it came in spike, as you know, but um, I suppose the only thing to my credit is that I managed not to blast the buds. But sure, that's an achievement in itself. But this one shaping up to be one of, well, yeah, one of my trustworthy plants, one of my favourite plants even, because it flowers for a very long time. That's always good when something just goes on and on. A bit like this Prostechia co cochleata. And um, I think this one is in all of my orchid flowering videos because it really does just go on and on. What else have I got? To the right of it, or to the left of it, to the right of me, is Epidendrum Secundum. And this is in flower at the moment. Very reliable and easy Epidendrum to flower. Just had to give you a close up of those funny little flowers. They do look like they have little faces on them. Nestling on the support of the epidendrum is my Paphiopedilum pinocchio, which is a sequential bloomer, as you can see. There's a 
cute little flower there, one forming behind. And over there, you can see its second spike coming out. So um, I'll have blooms on this for, oh, many weeks to come. And last but not least, up there at the top of the shelf, we have uh, another Latoria dendrobium. This is Dendrobium setigerum or Macrophyllum. And yeah, it's still in spike. I've lost one of the spikes, but I still have two left. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. And that's the lot. 10 orchids in flower at the moment. Now, I did have Gongora galliata in flower this month. I think I showed it when once of the spikes was open in a previous video and the second spike opened but it finished it closed before I got a chance to make a video so unfortunately I won't be showing you that but I just thought I'd stick in here a little photo of the two spikes just as one of the blooms started to go over and here he is now pushing up to healthy new growth so well done Gongora Unfortunately, the Restrepia I had in Spike blasted and that's due to the fact that I'm still getting the hang of the fan in the plant room and unfortunately I had it on too strongly on the Restrepia and, you know, they like to stay moist so I lost the Spike. That's a shame. But I do have some other things in the offing so stay tuned and hopefully there'll be some more flowering orchids to show you before very long. And that's all for the moment. I currently have 10 orchids in flower in October, although there was that extra one that has gone over now at this stage, but you know, so it goes. I hope you liked this video and I hope you might feel encouraged to check back again for lots more of this kind of thing. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Bye now.